Um, another big news story that broke the other day, uh, fired actress, former MMA star, and really attractive person, Gina Carano, resurfaced again. Uh, for people that don't remember, she was one of the co-stars, possibly with the, maybe the female co-star in the hot TV show Mandalorian. Uh, she was not renewed a contract. They were working on a spinoff for her because she would not put, uh, I think, pronouns in her bio and was very critical and also made a very, very dumb comparison to, like, I think, COVID and the Holocaust, which is what a lot of, unfortunately, right-wing people do, which is just, I don't even know how to digest that. But um, Elon Musk is funding a lawsuit uh, for her firing against Disney. Now, listen, I don't really have strong feelings about this. Um, Gina Carano... Uh, probably could have smoothed this over. I felt like at the time, and I think we covered this shot at the time, our opinion was she could have just like let this go and kept her good job and just kept on holding on to these values. But, you know, she kind of poked the bear a little bit. Um, but, you know, the way they treated her and the way the cast sort of just, and even though they all liked her, um, you know, for, for, I guess, social currency reasons, they just abandoned her. Shot, do you think this, this woman has a chance? Because if she, if she has, if this lawsuit actually beats Disney, there might be other lawsuits. There might be other people who were fired from, you know, jobs. Because apparently Elon Musk has told people, if you were fired for free speech, I'll fund your lawsuit. And he's funding hers. And this could be a multi-million dollar funded lawsuit for multi-millions of dollars. Sha, I know you didn't watch the show, but I, we do remember we talked about this a couple of years ago. And then it just sort of disappeared. Yeah, I remember. I'm, I'm more so fascinated by um, Elon Musk, like associating himself with freedom of speech so much you know like him buying twitter wasn't that the sole purpose of buying twitter because he wanted to keep freedom of speech alive on twitter yeah I guess that was why he bought it trump was getting censored and everybody else um yeah. i don't know man I'm, I'm, I'm curious to see what happens out of this but i'm i'm surprised he's fucking funding it that's wild to me yeah, I was surprised. I didn't know that aspect of it till later on. B show your thoughts. You know, you you re remember we covered this story. I think we all kind of had the same opinion. It's like, ah, oh, we pro she should everybody should have been fired, but she also could have probably prevented this too. <laughs> yeah, she made it a persecution complex, and I th I listened to her do an interview about this last night after I was done w working. She said something about how there was other people around her who were doing other things or saying other things online bashing pe certain other groups of people and everything was cool mm. and then she put stuff up that's kind of thinly veiled and like the holocaust thing was stupid but it wasn't Very she stupid. wasn't ragging she wasn't no and ragging. it wasn't it wasn't anti-semitic i mean compared to what you know to other things that are happening right now my god i mean this would be on brand you know right <laughs> she was trying she to say today should be fine she was trying to say that, you know, it wasn't something that people were surprised about. People just went along with the narrative and went along with things. And that's silencing dissenters is the same thing. That's what's, what happened with questioning COVID. Not exactly the same thing. Very yeah. bad comparison. But she wasn't being anti-Semitic, at least from what it seemed. Yeah. Um, then she said she was willing after her beep, bop, boop pronoun pose. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. That... Um, she said that she was willing to sit on and talk to the people that were supposedly offended, but instead they wanted her to get on a Zoom call with like 40 or 50 other people. Yeah, and get she yelled at by 50 different people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. as all this is going on, um, they fire her, and she was supposed to get a spinoff. It was yep. Rangers of the New Republic, and she was going to be yeah. the star. Star, yeah. So it cost her that. And then they went, I think the thing that sealed the deal was they went on X or Twitter, and whoever it was, an unnamed person from Lucasfilm tweeted, um, her social media posts denigrating people based on their cultural and religious identities are abhorrent and unacceptable. Well, she, yeah. So if she fucked with trans people, that's a fair statement to say, but she wasn't really fucking with Jewish people or being anti-Semitic and to yeah, paint no, it as self is, I guess, an issue with her. So, yeah. um, if you guys remember a couple of weeks ago, I don't know if we covered it. Elon Musk was talking on CNBC and specifically called out Bob Iger and Disney and told yeah, Bob, I, it, I thought, yeah, he told him to go fuck himself. Yeah, that's what I thought. Because yeah. they were talking about, well, what if you lose sponsors? And he's like, don't sponsor me. I don't want your money. Go fuck yourself. And he said, yeah. hi, Bob. So yeah. this is this Poking is a the big thing. Um, he obviously there's other ones that may be coming because they're alluding to him backing other people. Yeah, uh, that's what I'm saying. I, I don't get the whole thing about like waging this war and then demanding your job back. That just doesn't seem like a good work environment to me. 
Yeah, just, I don't know. I, I, I'm, really. I'm interested in the case because, you know, I'm, I'm, by the way, Chris Matthews is saying she fumbled the bag more than Velveteen Dream. Kevco TV. Oh, what's up, Kevco? The fact that she was told to stop it didn't. I didn't know she could win the lawsuit because she wasn't listening to her bosses. And that's my thing, too. I don't think she should have been fired. I don't think she should have been put in a firing squad for people to yell at her for not being on board with the ideology. But she also could have stopped it. That's all. You know, she could have stopped it. She chose not to. She martyred herself to make Ben Shapiro Westerns and that's not paying the bills. I will say this smoking hot. I mean, can we all just agree? Shaw? That is a good looking woman. Um, would bang. If I was in the banging category, I, I am retired from outside banging, but uh, you know, I, I remember her when she was an MMA fight. I mean, dude, she's, she's aging nicely. Shaw. What do you think of her? She looks good. Yeah, she looks good, man. I, you're Jesus. a former, uh, former banger. Yeah, like in my banging days, I would make this a priority. Uh, she's got to be in her mid forties, uh, like early forties now. My goodness, B show, not ugly, as I say. No, it, it, what's funny is some people. It's the old Bender line from Breakfast Club. Some people Jesus. look like they were born to be fat, and when they're skinny, it doesn't look right. She looked good thin, and then yeah. when she filled out, when she got into her thirties, oh, like holy she looks good. Shit. Yeah, she's. I mean, this is a woman who should be getting work just based solely on her attractiveness. I'm sorry. Well, the weird thing too is she said they tried to make her out to be an alt white uh, or alt right extremist. Freudian yeah. slip there. Um, yeah. But then the first movie she did w was like a school shooting movie with the Daily Wire. So no, she did a western, I thought, or something like that. Like I don't know. Oh, yeah, I she's got she a husky ass like voice too. She's got a husky ass voice. I remember she was an MMA. Uh, she was hot then, hot now, and uh, you know that's really. Ultimately, I think that's all that matters. I mean, I mean, I don't really know what could be more important than being attractive, quite frankly. Um, damn, yeah, she's 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 never going to be ugly. You know what? She might not win the lawsuit, but she's never going to be ugly. And uh, I think, you know, and at least she's got that going for her. And that's nice. That is nice. She was a great fighter, too. If nobody's ever seen her fight, she didn't make it to UFC. Uh, she was already kind of done in, in Hollywood at that point. Um, but, uh, she was a phenomenal fighter. I mean, she was walking through people in the MMA world. Yeah. She did a Hunter Biden movie. Yeah. She does like right wing crazy movies, but look, if that's her beliefs, she's entitled to do that. Half the country has these beliefs. Or but no, that's crazy. what I'm saying is like that. She said they made me out to look like a crazy alt-right extremist. And then the first yeah. movie she does, maybe it was the only option, but the first movie she yeah, does she had, is well, going to get a job. No one's hiring her. A Daily Wire movie. Yeah. Yeah. So. Shot only fans. What are you thinking? Ooh. Uh, I mean, she's not really my my type, but you know, I'm sure millions of people would probably subscribe to it. Yeah, oh, that'd be something making like that. people millionaires left and right, dude. Like, I know it's, it's making like former baristas millionaires. It's just not yeah, right. Makes you, makes you just hate your life, man. It's it makes just, you just yeah, oh. yeah. Thank God most of mine is over. According to the internet, I'm 65. I don't got much time left. But uh, I thought you were 45, according to the internet. They no, last, a couple weeks ago I was 40. Now I'm 65. I don't know if you guys knew that. I went from you got the reverse to Benjamin Button disease, man. Yeah, I got reverse Benjamin Button disease. Yeah, and I did think it was shitty that all these people liked her when she was there, but were afraid to speak up for her. It's very cowardly. Like I like Pedro Pasquale and all, the, and I love Katie. And but like uh, Katie Sackoff, I'm talking like she's my friend. Uh, you know, but uh, ironically, B show, uh, I would probably pick Katie Sackoff over G Gina Carano. And I know I'm going to get a really? lot of people, yeah, shitting on me. But uh, yeah, she's hot. And that's all that really matters. Um, and really, what else does she need? She's got money. She's hot. She can make these uh, right-wing movies and whatever that'll pay pay her pay her pay her Hulu subscription. 